I started out as a, as a designer. I did a lot of CG work. I did virtual design and animation um, just at a time when that was kind of taking off. So that was a really interesting way into the business. From there, I moved into directing live action and um, I started working in documentary. I directed a whole load of documentary, which was really useful in terms of learning how to tell a story. Uh, and from there, then I made mm-hmm. a couple of short films. I got really interested in working with actors. I wrote and directed for the theatre. And out of that then, I, um, I got an agent in the UK and I started working, making TV drama in the UK. And out of that, um, I got picked up by a US agency and uh, I worked with Amazon and Netflix. So let's talk about some of those transitions. Um, I know that a lot of people that listen to this podcast, they're obviously screenwriters, but they may work in the um, entertainment business in some sort of another facet, whether that be an attorney or an accountant, or in your case, um, special effects, CGI and that stuff. How did you make that transition? Were you writing scripts? Um, Were you organized? It sounds like you made the transition to documentary. So did you have a couple of like pitch decks for documentaries you wanted to go and do, and you would kind of throw those out to your contacts? Maybe just talk about that transition going from, you know, not being a producer and a director, but being on the industry? How did you actually bridge that gap? Yeah, I think the script is 100% the thing. And the great thing, of course, as everybody says about screenwriting is you can do it yourself at home. And the trick, I think, with screenwriting is keep doing it. Do it every day. And the mm-hmm. other big piece of advice I would give to people is if you, you, uh, you learn your craft by doing and you write your screenplay, and if it doesn't take off and if nobody is interested, write another one. And if that doesn't take off, write another one. Don't work with one project that you try and sell around town, nobody's interested, and you rewrite it and try and sell it again. Don't do that. Write something new. There are always better ideas Mm -hmm. out there. And you have an infinite ideas in you. And every time you write something new, it's better than what you wrote before. So, so then just like on a practical sense, what were some of those steps for you when you were working as a, as a CGI artist? Were you also writing scripts? Were you also sort of preparing for these other opportunities? Yes, I was. Yeah, I, I, um, I wrote a story uh, which was picked up by Creative Europe for development. So that was really helpful. And I learned a lot because uh, what they do is they, they bring you to uh, a European capital and you meet other aspiring filmmakers and you work together to the script for a week. So that was massively helpful for me. I came back out of that and um, I, do- I gave some documentary pitches to the TV broadcaster in Ireland. And I ended up making documentary films for about three or four years, both creative documentary and investigative documentary. And what I learned out of that was how to tell a Mm -hmm. green story. Because when you're shooting documentary like that, you Mm -hmm. write a script, but but obviously you have to be really careful that you're not controlling the action. So I think it's Hitchcock who said, Mm -hmm. in documentary, God is the director, but in drama, the director is God. So having done that for a few years, with my own visual training, I thought... I really want to, I want to be God. I want to do, I want to control everything that's happening. The other mm-hmm. thing that I felt having made documentaries was um, the bar and the subject uh, is, is a slightly unequal bargain. Even though the films that I made, they were about social transformation. They were about wanting to change things for the better for the community that we were uh, filming. But nonetheless, you know, it was, it was an uneven bargain. Whereas when I write a drama yeah. and I work with actors, the bargain is a much more equal bargain. So I'm still telling the same kind of stories. I'm still trying to uh, to, I hope, think and possibly, um, you know, maybe change the world a little bit for the better in terms of how we think about things. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Selling Your Screenplay podcast. If you'd like to hear the full interview, just go to sellingyourscreenplay.com slash podcasts. Or to go directly to the episode, just use the link in the show notes. Thanks for watching.